Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 31 of Direwolf20 server play series with Soren, and Quetzi's here, but he's not in Team with us, and Fireball's in Team with us, and hey everybody, how's it going? Good. Yeah, what's happening? I'm doing silliness with Quantum Bridges. Sweet. And I was told you have the best design in the world ever. Well, maybe. We'll see. Maybe? It's okay. a work in progress. It's not done yet. And it's going to take me a few minutes to get to that point. But once we get there, it should be pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Does it involve me dying? Um, it may. It could. Uh, potentially. Yeah, sure. Why not? Right. I mean, if you want it to. Yeah. Not really. <laughs> no? Not so much? No, not so much. <laughs> Okay. So, um, yeah, I've been playing with Pneumatocraft, and I've been having some fun with some of the things that Pneumatocraft has to offer. And I oh, want yeah? to see how my seed situation is. Oh, yeah, my, uh, my, my seed farm has totally been doing well. Um, I've got a lot of seeds. <laughs> yeah. We, we have just a small number of seeds in the AE system at the moment. <laughs> like a couple hundred of each. Just, just, yeah, okay. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It's all good. Uh, uh. <laughs> it is all good, sir. So, um, I think what I'd like to do this episode is start playing with drones a little bit. Oh dear. I know. You should really be afraid. Oh. <laughs> um, so these guys aren't too hard to craft. I'm just going to need a few more turbine rotors, which is gold and two redstone and a pressure chamber. So let's get some of that. We'll do this many. And meanwhile, I'm going to have a few bits of crafting to do. Oh, I want to check in on this chest. How has he been doing? Oh, yeah, we've got a lot of eggs now. My egg machine worked. <laughs> we have a chest full of eggs. Great. Yeah, I'm pretty happy about that as well. Okay, so you should be depositing redstone in here at the moment. Cool. And these guys can craft now. Awesome. That's what I like to see. All right, um, we're also going to need a drone programming station. So the programmer is this guy nice we basically have everything we need for that at this point i'm going to say now that this wiring is terrible but it gets the job done for what i did this wiring being my wiring oh really yeah it's zigzagging all over the place because there's no point a to point b so what you're saying is your wiring is terrible no. My stream just said I was the master at AE a second ago, so I don't think that's true. Look, what your stream has to say about you and what's real are two totally different things. Uh huh. <laughs> I trust chat more than I trust you. <laughs> and that would be what? wise of you. <laughs> so I'm going to have to grow some ender plant seeds. While that stuff's cooking, let's go visit the end and get some end stone. Because I don't need a ton of ender plant seeds, I'm not going to add it to my automated system thing. But I am going to go visit Digger, and hopefully there's a link book to the end in here somewhere. All right. Um, the end. There it is. Hopefully somebody's at this point placed a link book out of the end. Yes, that was the beginning. Yeah, no, I don't see a link book that leads out of the end. Oh, well. Why There's a link book by one of the pillars. Oh, okay, thanks for those awesome directions. <laughs> it's behind one of the pillars, inside this vast majority of the pillars. <laughs> like, you could not be any more difficult to understand. Turn left at the blue sign, and there's like only red signs. Uh. No. 
Uh, there's a crafting table here. I'm just gonna jump into the end portal. And if I crash, I crash. Guys, we'll be back in a minute. All right, guys, we're back, and I have a little bit of prep work to do before we get to what I think is gonna be a lot of fun to play with. Uh, first, I'm gonna sneak outside when Soren's not looking. Shh, don't tell him what I'm doing. Oh man, what could Dyer possibly be doing? Don't tell Soren. Ah! Chat, what do you think he's doing? Top secretness. <laughs> what are you doing, Soren? Hey, stop watching. <laughs> I just froze it behind you. It's like, hello. How did you even find me up here? I actually looked up Mesh C for a half second. It was rather luck. Do you know what I'm building? Is this like a GPS setup? Yeah, it's a little old school. Yeah, I remember these. <laughs> yeah, I've been having a little bit of fun. Alright. So let's see. I think this is what I want to do. For a minute there, I thought that was just like, here's an arbitrary number, go! <laughs> it's like, oh, the coordinates, right. Yeah, like where I'm at right now. Right? So I have to do that on the other three computers. Really? I believe you can copy and paste into these. And I'm purposely making the Y position one less, right? So when it says feet position, that's the position of my feet, not the position of the block I'm standing on, right? In the F3 Correct. menu? Correct. So I should do Y level minus one for feet position to yes. get the position of the computer itself, right? Yep, yep. So those of you who aren't familiar with this, uh, basically what I'm doing is I'm telling these four computers their position in the world, and they should then be able to tell me my position in the world when I request it of them. So 848-222-988, cool. Okay, um, I think we're gonna do a server restart, guys, so we'll be back in a minute. Oh, okay. Okay guys, we are back. The server is once again behaving and I'm ready to show you a little bit of fun. So I should be able to do GPS locate and it should tell me the X, Y, Z coordinates of this block. So negative 854, 167, 970. Beautiful, that's what I wanted to see. All right, so with that in mind, we should be able to do cool stuff. Um, now I'm going to want from computer craft, you know what, let's get our drone first. Why is my NEI not synchronizing? My NEI is broken. No! All right, we'll be back. Yeah. Okay, guys, we're back, and my NEI works again. Hooray! Yay! It's a saddening state when that doesn't work. Oh, it like completely throws me off my game. Right? I'm sorry, but you threw off the Emperor's Groove. Like, not even just a little bit. Completely 100% that's what happened. Alright, so this guy should be able to start putting those in there. I should maybe even be able to do speed upgrades. I could probably make a couple things of cake. Just because, why not? There we go. Now you should be a little bit faster about equalizing your pressure in your drone. Sweet. Uh, next thing we want to do is get the drone programmer out and running. Uh, we'll want this guy to live 
Right up there, sure, that sounds like a nice place. So the program is really easy. If you want a drone to be controlled by a computer craft, which is what I want, and don't worry, there's not going to be a ton of code here. This is just going to be a little bit of a fun build for me. Uh, all you need to do is the following. First, you need to place the computer craft control program. And then you need an area thing. And what you need to do is specify the coordinates of this thing, the drone interface. Okay, so uh, that guy, I believe I have him in the right spot here. Let's see. Yeah, that should be good. Uh, all I have to do is GPS tool him there. So it's set the coordinates of that thing. And then I can right click this, select GPS and good, good, good. So that when I go in here and show area, it will show the spot that the GPS is connected to. And then I can come in here and stop showing area and you can see that's where it's gonna hook up. Okay, so those are the only three program pieces that we need, which we should be able to make as shown here. So I need one of these, which I should be able to make some of. I need one of these. Oh, I'm surprised it's raining on Forgecraft. And some of these. What? I know, it's actually a thunderstorm. Oh. oh, I don't hear this because of the lightning mishaps that we had on the piano. Yeah. Oh, I see. Is it nighttime? <laughs> Can we sleep through the night? I'll go do so. Hooray! Thank you, sir. Um, I might be close to being able to show you this cool thing I've been working on. Good morning, everyone. So let's get the drone, which by this point should be at least partially charged. Yeah, four bars should be enough. We'll put him in, we'll write the program. So now what we've got set up, and I think this is as good a place as I need to program puzzle piece things. Uh, what we should have configured. I, haven't, I don't even know why that's in my inventory. Is a drone who will take his orders from the drone interface and we have an advanced computer who can get GPS positioning from the drone interface. Cool so far? I hope so. Um, let's do this. I just wanna know what the GPS coordinates of that block is. All right, so I'm gonna get a couple pace spins. Now guys, I've been working on this for, I don't know, several hours, maybe six or seven hours. It's not done yet, but it's getting there. So I'm not gonna do a lot of coding on camera. I'm gonna show you what I've been working on and then I will um, do some more work on it off camera and either come back later this episode with more of a finished program or maybe next episode we'll see some more of this stuff. But um, I'm going to basically uh, show you what I've got right now. Uh, so let's do a few things. Um, you know what, I need one more program here. Let's see, I'll be back in a second. Let me get this guy. All right, so I've got a program called Await command and the reason is is I've got a wireless modem here so we're going to be wirelessly sending commands to this computer who will then be transmitting them to the drone which uh, is currently in my inventory so I'll put him right there cool hello drone and you can see the drone interface is now facing the drone he's aware of where he is cool you ready for this part this is the part that I'm most excited about and I think you guys will think is cool remember these guys advanced wireless pocket computers that's right so all we're going to need is a golden apple and one of these and then one of these so in order to get that i just need the wireless modem attached and here goes nothing cool so i've now got this and i'm going to label set test one it doesn't matter as long as i label it in some way i should probably label set this guy too so that I never um, lose connection to them. All right, so for this guy, there's two paste bins I'm gonna need. Um, paste bin get this as main program. We'll do this, uh, we'll call it drone. Cool. And you're also gonna need a new version of the button API. And the reason for that is the button API, um, I made minor changes to it so that it can work on a tablet. So let's see if this program works. Ta-da! Hey, how's it going? 
Um, it's really not done yet. Like, it's not even close to done yet, but I wanted to get on and start showing you guys what I've been working on. So there's my drone. Suppose I'm hanging out somewhere, and I would like my drone to come find me. All I should have to do is click come here. And in theory, he should be able to listen to me. Come on, drone, listen. So it knows my XYZ position. That's correct so far. Come here. All right, let me play with him a little bit and see if I can't figure out why he's not working. Oh yeah, I know, hold on. <laughs> um, because the idea of this computer is different than the one in my test world, that's why. This is ID 59. Like I said, this program's not totally done yet. All right, let's see if that works now. Come here, drone. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Look at him go. That is awesome. Um, there's one thing. Now, he's going to land at my feet. I don't know if I want him landing at my feet. I might want him. Um, let's see. Come here. Oh, that's cool. All right. Um, now, there's a couple other things I can do. I can... Let me program his home. I was going to set his home to that. Okay, guys, we're back. So come here should now come here to my Y level of my head. Nice. And go home should send them to that position over there. Maybe not. Go home. Okay, come here is working. But go home doesn't seem to want to. All right, helps if you don't typo the go home coordinates. Now go home should send him Right on top of that thing. <laughs> nice. So come here. Should bring him to me. And you can see every time I send a message to him, it's sending little like signals over to the drone, which I think is pretty cool. So what if I were to come over here? The drone should be able to come here, no problem, because it uses pathfinding similar to what monsters use. So he should be able to slowly but surely find his way over there. It works. Uh, now the tick rate on the server is a little bit wonky as usual. So um, it runs a little bit more smoothly when you're on a server that's not lagging like Forgecraft is at the moment. Um, but I mean, overall, that's pretty neat, right? Oh, that's cool. And now go home. <laughs> that is cool. All right. Sorry, I'm geeking out over this just a little bit. Um, let's show off one or two more things that I set up. So uh, you saw briefly a little menu system. So he should find his way on top of that thing. What I'm going to show you is uh, the set area thing. So this is a way to set an area. Um, so right now, if I wanted to set the area that I'm currently at, I could uh, just click set area. And it would take my current position and if I wanted to show the area that I'm talking about, it's right there. So that's basically the X, Y position of my head. And if I click show area again, it turns it off, right? So show area on, show area off, like that. And if I set area again and show area, uh, you should see it once again being pretty much the exact position where I was standing. Okay, now if I want to include on the X direction, which is this way, plus one, okay, all I have to do is hit X plus one. And if I hit apply, um, it should take my current position and, um, you know, do that. Let's see, if I were to say plus one set area now and show area. So it's always going to move it to your current position. I might change that so that it, um, you know, maybe have a button. What I'm thinking is change set area to do like current position and changing this XY position stuff and then um, apply not something like that. I haven't really totally worked it out yet, but as you can see, right, like um, I'm, you know, as I hit like apply here, we should see, you know, this guy X plus two. Okay. Now if I want it to go a little bit in that direction, I could change uh, the other X coordinate and hit apply and ta-da. And if I want it to go up one, I could just say this and apply. Ta-da. 
and all these coordinates are filled out. Now what I could do from here, I haven't written the code for it yet, but I could basically tell the drone to dig out this area or place blocks in this area. I'd have to have them pick up blocks from a chest or something, but that shouldn't be too hard to do. Uh, now if I want to reset all the things here, I could just hit reset and apply, and you'll notice that now the block that I was standing on is the block that's highlighted again, and um, I could turn on and off the show area function like that. And I can clear area as well, which completely clears it. Now what I could do like let's say I wanted to set an area right here right so I could hit apply and you can see that thing showing up now when I go back for example I could tell the drone go to and he will go to the area that I designated so like I said not much functionality yet but obviously it's a work in progress and I'm building the pieces right so I can now say go home and he would go back home even in the middle of that I could say go to and he would just stop where he was going and go right back um, to the area, at least I think he should. Maybe it cleared out the uh, position there. Let's see. Set area. Oh yeah, see the area is cleared out somehow. So I haven't worked out all the kinks either yet. So we can now say, like I wanna have him actually come over here and back and go to. There we go, nice. Go home actually might wind up resetting that. So. Like I said, a couple quirks and a couple bugs still to do. Um, I could turn off the show area from down here, by the way. I added that button to this menu, too. So you can see when I hit show area again, it's not showing that blocks over there. So it got cleared at some point along the way. So a couple things, right? Lots to do. So that's where we're at. Let me add a dig function here, and then I can show you what I'm talking about with the digging idea. Um, and I might even set him up. I'm going to tell him to go home real quick so that he's hanging out there, ready to be recharged if he gets drained out of... Uh, out of juice and uh yeah we'll come back in a minute here when we're ready to check out some more stuff all right guys so i think i've got something new to show you i added a couple more functions to this thing it wasn't hard to add now that i've got most of the work implemented um so let's say we want him to do some mining as you know drones do best when they have a tool in their hand so let's get him to pick up the diamond pickaxe from this chest okay what i'm going to do is i'm going to go over here i'm going to set the area and i'm going to reset the area and hit apply and we should see the little thing there. I've also changed it so that when I'm changing this and I haven't left the screen, if I hit apply again, it's gonna move down one from its original position so that I can stand back and watch it move, okay? So we actually want it to go down one more. Now I'm changing both of these because for example, um, if I just changed one, uh, what we'd wind up with is having the whole area covered, right? So if I change both, then it moves the whole thing down just one, okay? So We'll move it down two, and then we'll go back and tell it to get the pickaxe. And what it should do is come over here and grab just the pickaxe out of the chest. It only works with a diamond pickaxe with the way it's coded, and I'll do a separate code video on how this works. Um, now let's say that there was some cobblestone here that I would want cleared out, or let's say it's like a big open room that I want cleared out, right? So I could just um, you know grab my computer tool and say set area. We'll reset the area and apply it. Okay, uh, so let's see. We're gonna wanna see which side. So let's say, I think it's minus on the X, right? And that will go that way. And we'll also go plus on the X, okay? And that will expand that way. And then we'll go minus on the Z. Let's see if that's right. Nope, we want it to go plus on the Z. Apply. And we'll go two more. We'll do three more just to be covered, okay? And now it's gonna go through there. And then uh, if I wanted to, I could even remove this one little line. So what I'll do is I'll say, uh, because that was X to here, uh, I think what I want to do is that. Oh, that was X, right. That should be Z. So we should do like plus one there. There we go. And then we can say Y, we're going to go down one level. Cool. And then we go back and we tell this guy to dig. <laughs> How cool is that, huh? So it's a radio control drone, like with a handheld tablet with buttons that you can press. I think that's neat. I hope you guys think that's neat because I think that's neat. Um, so then what I can do is uh, I can go back here. I might have like a favorites area or a chest, but I'll just reset this guy, go down two on the Y and apply it. And that should change the area back to the chest. See how it's blue in there. 
and then um, I can tell it to drop items. So the drone, I haven't told it to pick up the cobblestone, so that's why I picked it up. I didn't do anything yet for picking up items, but you can see he deposited his diamond pick. And then I can tell him to go back home. <laughs> All right, Soren, I am ready to show you what I've got. Before we do that, we want to... Fireball, AE broke. What'd you break? Like the entire AE system. I accessed it. I haven't touched it. I looked back at the terminal. It doesn't read anything. I'm checking now. I, I can see everything in there. Can you? Okay. Like yeah. everything? Type in cobble. Oh, there's 19 I cobble. Maybe I disconnected it. I'm hoping I did. Whoa, Looks like it might have been. There hmm? you go. going on? Yeah, no, I saw everything except maybe what's in that room. I didn't see any cobble, but... Okay, so I might have just disconnected. Okay. Wait, no, it's right here. Nope, 19. Still 19. Oh, 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 oh. right. I changed the P2P. See, you oh. overcomplicate things with P2P. I feel like you don't need P2P as much as you use P2P. I really don't, but half of it's like, this is just so much fun. Okay, as long as you're enjoying yourself. Like, Hard I'm doing play. a lot of AE on my single-player series, and I'm using yeah. Dense Cable instead of B2P, this, and I feel like that's easier. Oh, sorry. This part right here is 30 channels, so even if I used Dense Cable, it wouldn't have made it unless I used P2P. So oh, that's, that's the fine. only instance I really needed it. Okay. Other cases, it makes the Dense Cable not needed. Right. Like, I guess it's if you want to use Dense Cable or if you want to use P2P, you know, or if you want. Yeah. I mean, you can do, like, you know, I guess eight Dense Cable channels you wanted to mm -hmm. there's a lot like you could do the well, cable so. that's connecting our a drives with this p2p was mm -hmm. dense because that's where it started off but it's going to change into the uh smart cable so it'll be much cheaper gotcha okay do you want to see what i have sure okay no you don't have to go anywhere he'll come to us oh yeah look who's coming Ah, oh, here, boy! <laughs> here, boy! Who's your daddy? Come to Direwolf. <laughs> You're your little buddy! Now come here. Ah. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Is that cool? What all does he do? Uh, uh, let's see, check this out. Um... Let's see. Do you see a little blue square? I do. You do? I do. I can tell him to go to it. Whoa. <laughs> Interesting. Pretty cool. Name him Jarvis. Oh my gosh. I'm going to tell him to go home now. Okay. Does he have an inventory? Like, you can tell him yeah, all the time. Did we give him a bell? <laughs> Are you here with me? I don't see you. Okay. See, if you look in the chest, see how there's a blue square? Yep. And what's inside the chest? Pickaxe and... Okay. Okay. Oh. All right, now stand back. Yeah, part of my chat's like, this is really cool. And the other part of my chat's like, don't teach Soren how to do this works. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay. That'd be very bad in a second. <laughs> okay. How did you destroy your entire base? Well, you see, we were having a little fun with Dyer's new little toy here. <laughs> and... That's... Yeah. That. Oh! Ooh! And that. <gasps> <laughs> I really want to give him this now and just like go around. 
So this. Oh, okay, I see. The drone interface is what's sending those circle things. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Do you want to give it a try? Uh, sure. All I do have okay. to do. All right, guys, we'll be back after I teach Soren how to use this thing. All right, guys, we're back. So, Soren, what'd you think of my little drone program now that you've had a chance to play with I love the it. tablet? You like? I love to do so many things. <laughs> I, it's cool, right? It's like, I need to add a little bit, make it a little bit easier to set the X and Y position. I feel like it's a little bit clunky right now, but it shouldn't be too hard to make it a little bit easier. Uh, you know how the quarry from Buildcraft works, where you have the markers? Yes. What if you made it so if you right-click on one block, you right-click on another, it's a line. You right-click on another, it makes that rectangle. Yeah, I so can you do something add like that. Dimensions. Okay. Like, the goal was so that, like, if there's, like, a big cave in front of me, I don't have to, like, tunnel into it to start mining right. it. Um, but, like, that's an option. There's a, there's a couple things I could do. Um, like, there's it's a little bit buggy right now. I have to clean up the UI a little bit. But I think I should be able to make it pretty easy to use and set the coordinate and stuff. I mean, the fact that it renders on the screen where it's at so it's really easy to make adjustments is good. Yeah. That's not safe, by the way. Oh, no. It's fun, though. <laughs> it's etching acid. We're just etching little circuit patterns into the dire here. What do you expect to happen? Okay. All right, guys. So that's the episode. I will do uh, one of those, like, how the code works videos on this at some point. We'll be back next time after I've written more code into the program uh, and made the drone just that much more controllable remotely. Uh, for now, Dial20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, leave some comments in the description and all that stuff and let me know what you guys think of the nifty little tablet program. I'll be expanding the features pretty soon. All right, guys. Take it easy.